So welcome back guys to SnowRunner and I think it's time we do some exploring. In Michigan, we're gonna find some secrets, find some upgrades, find some watchtowers. I hope you guys are well. If you guys could be awesome, sign us YouTube, leave a like on the video. Also there'll be links to the game linked in the description. Uh, they're all affiliate links, just so you guys are fully aware. And uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. So there is a drowned scout truck just here, similar to the the highway truck over here. We're gonna try and get it out. It's submerged. Uh, but yeah, there is a lot, a lot of water around here. <laughs> this could be uh, interesting. Luckily, we do have a snorkel on the car, so it should let the, the engine breathe fairly well, hopefully. Let's try and, uh, let's try and get it out. I don't think we can repair this. I'm gonna just try and drag it out. Let's have a look. Except, is it just deliver or fix it? Hey, trouble at the farm. We've got a truck wedged deep in the sludge. We can help you out. That's that. We can do that. We can definitely do that. We set this as the task. Uh, there you go. Drowned scout vehicle. Track it. Does it say just deliver? Yeah, deliver drowned truck. Perfect. Off-road truck is recommended. Fair enough. I think they should cope, hopefully. Let's see if we can get it out. I mean, ideally, I'd love to be able to keep it, but I don't think that's possible. But this is a good way to get a little bit of XP. Do a task. Get it done. Gonna winch it out. It is deep, though, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> it's, it's really deep. This winch it in, baby. Yeah. Perfect. Let's go. Woo! That worked like a treat. And the farm is actually quite close, so it shouldn't take us long to get there. Well, I say that. We may potentially get stuck. We are pulling another vehicle. Come on! Those tires are unreal. Absolutely unreal. Yeah, we're going to go to some watchtowers, find some upgrades in the open world. Just want to explore a little bit. Not have to focus on deliveries for a little bit. For this episode, anyway. I also have returned... I can't remember the truck now. The truck that was over there by the bridge. I've returned that to... Uh, the garage so if we can now use it it's also got all wheel drive so that's good and it's also got a side bed so yeah there's some there's some potential there for sure let's get this back to the farm though it was wedged in pretty badly wasn't it we come and saved the little chevy oh oops sorry <laughs> it just took more damage whoops sorry about that Almost there. Almost done. Done. Woo! XP and money. That was so worth it. Yes. Right, next up, I want to go to this watchtower up here. It should open up this whole region of the map here. And there might be some more drowned vehicles, some more upgrades available. So, yeah. I think we can use this path here. We've never been up this part of the map, so it's all completely brand new. Which is exciting. Yeah, we've got a couple of decent vehicles now, uh, along with that, that truck that I sort of left behind, which I didn't realise actually had all-wheel drive. You can actually engage it if you want to. So I've done that. But we've got a few options now. I feel like we're fairly well equipped. We do need to level up a little bit to unlock some upgrades, but we're going in the, in the right path. We've got, we're on the right path. That's, that's good. That is good. Got this vehicle as well, which is perfect for doing a bit, a bit, a bit of scouting, exploring... It just, it doesn't care about the mud, rough terrain. It just keeps on going. It is relentless. It's those massive, massive tires. Help out so much. This is surprisingly healy. Like, oh, is it going to get stuck? No, that's fine. Just had to engage gear. It's all right. It's bumpy. Very healy. I would not fancy taking the truck up here. That would be near enough impossible. Where's this tower? Where are you? I will find you. Yeah, this vehicle is just relentless. I love it! Again, I don't know how you unlock it. I'm guessing it's a pre-order bonus or something like that. I'm sure you could pretty get it. You might have to pay for it, unfortunately. It kind of sucks, but... Oh, it's muddy there. It's all, good. it's all good, though. It's all good. 
Oh, look at the... Oh, these wheels are so good. So good. Yeah, unfortunately, our main trucks, like the fleet style, we can't change the tyres just yet. Need to level up a little bit more. But we'll get there eventually. For the tree. And this is another watchtower. Discovered. Launch observation. And we've got a little bit of XP for it as well. And there's my garage. Lovely. Did we find anything? No. No. Oh, that's kind of annoying. It was pretty much pointless. <laughs> it's just like, yes, there's your garage. Love it. Should we go and... I've seen this upgrade here for a while. And I've just not gone to it. So maybe we should, uh, we should do that. Right, so there should be a... A path on the left, which leads up to the upgrade. I don't know if this... Is this it? This can't be it, surely. It is it. Okay, fine. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Oh, also, uh, if you guys remember all the way back to the first episode where I found that, that upgrade, that uh, raised suspension upgrade, that was actually for the original truck we got. So, yeah, we actually have a free upgrade, which is nice. So we'll have to install that at some point. Ooh, ooh, ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Yeah, once it gets a bit rocky, that's where the diff really starts to work well because it just sends power to all the wheels at the same time. And it just locks it and you can just drive on through. That's when the diff is very, very useful. Or situations like this. Now, sometimes when it sort of stops like that, it's just the gears going down, up, up and down. Sometimes you need a bit of a lower gear to sort of get a bit of momentum forward. This is a uh, this is tricky ground though. Hope this upgrade's worth it. Am I going the wrong way? Great, I'm going the wrong way. Unsec. That's actually a watchtower there. I take that back. We're going the right way. So we go to the watchtower and then turn back round. We need to take a left there. Whoops. It's alright though. I'm gonna get to this watchtower. I will get it done. Yes, I will. Should be. There it is. Perfect. Arrived. This recon will be essential. Launched observation. Oh yeah. I must admit this game looks cracking. Absolutely cracking. I've been playing the um the Fallout 76 recently, and this like this game looks a lot better. A lot better. Right, so we're gonna turn back around and then take a left. Got it. This time. Hopefully I won't get lost. That'll be great. Thank you. Let's get to it. This vehicle is unreal. If you guys can get it, I recommend it. It is makes my life a lot easier. Those fabulous, fabulous tires. They're soft and squidgy. <laughs> they can go over anything. I love it. Obviously, you can still get stuck. I'm sure you can get stuck. Definitely when it gets a bit a bit snowy as well in Alaska. I'm sure you can still get stuck. Don't worry about that. But if the mud gets severe enough, or the, the water gets severe enough, or the rocks really get in your way, I guarantee we can still get stuck. Especially with, with me driving. Don't worry about that. Oh, yes. Even the detail in the cockpit... I mean, the, the wheel animation is a bit... Where you steer, it's like steering the wheel. It looks a bit weird, I guess. <laughs> it looks like he's panicking the whole time. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Don't tip. Don't tip. Don't tip. Uh, oh, my God. Wow. Wow, wow. Right, let's uh, lock the diff here. Nice, even power. I'm sure there's a different route that I could take, but there we go. Oh, don't tip, don't tip, don't tip, don't tip. <sighs> this game makes me very anxious. Very anxious. It almost like zooms you in as well. So it does that automatically when it becomes a little bit serious all of a sudden. So just wreck that tree. Bring it down. Climb it. Mount it. Hmm. This is, am I taking like a slightly, I'm taking a slightly weird course here, aren't I? I'm going, I don't know where I'm going. Maybe if I back off a little bit. 
Yeah, there's the trial, and I'm just doing my own thing here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's reverse. Let's reverse. Please don't tip it, though. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. There we go. Oh. I'm stuck going down now. There we go. I don't know where I was going there. This upgrade better be worth it. <laughs> it better be worth it. Hundred and twenty. Is it? Is it meters or just? Is it just a random number? I guess it's probably meters actually. I'm pretty sure it is. Climb again. This better be good. That was steep. Very steep. You get more of a sort of um, perspective. When you go into first person, you sort of see like what the hell is going on. So we got to the very tippy top, and here is the upgrade. Another raised upgrade, okay. Don't know what that's for, but still, very, very good. What if there's um, a negative to rising the suspension? I guess it's maybe, I'm trying to think. I guess traction on the road would be a bit more of a negative, but going off road, there's definitely benefits. I know this isn't the most direct route, but I'm just really intrigued by this route here. If we turn left. Screw it, why not? You only live once. Let's go and explore. That is the purpose of this episode, so yeah, it makes sense. I was sort of hoping maybe for something a bit different, apart from a rise suspension. I mean, ideally, I would love new tyres. Off-road tyres would be oh, absolutely perfect. Ooh, this is deep. It is deep. Trying to have a look around. That does not look operational. <laughs> we cannot save that. Uh, I guess if we keep going up this trail here, just sort of keep going. I mean, the map is still opening up, so... It's still worth doing. This is completely new, new areas for us to explore. I'll start worrying about fuel a little bit. This particular vehicle is really good for fuel consumption, which is nice. Gas is that way, ironically, and the town is that way. What is that way? <laughs> Not much. Oh, there's a house here. Let's have a look. Gets into the house, there might be an upgrade, a vehicle, potentially. Yes, another upgrade, see? I know what I'm doing. It was on the way. What is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Ooh, a new engine. 5.2 custom. Ooh, yes. Sweet, that is a good find. That is a very good find. So I, am yeah, we should probably now go back. I did not mean to do that, sorry. If you follow this trail here, it should lead towards the watch watchtower eventually. So the watchtower would have told us about the upgrade. We didn't just like randomly find it, but it was on the way, so it sort of saves us having to come back this way. It is bumpy around here and very tight. I'm having so much fun with this game. It was on my radar for quite a while, so I was like, I'm going to play this, but yeah, I'm really liking it. I'm like really addicted. I, again, I learn so much every episode. Also from your comments as well. I've been learning so much about the game. And I feel very invested. Hopefully we can do lots of videos in this game. I mean, it depends on you guys. I'll probably, I'm probably going to keep playing it anyway. But it would depend on... I'd love to obviously cover mods eventually as well. I want to progress as far as possible. I'm still trying to work out in terms of how much... I want to show in each video, like in terms of do I show every bit of driving or do I cut a lot out? Do I, oh yeah, it's difficult. So I reckon we go left here. It looks like maybe the longer route, but yeah, let's take, let's take this route. Screw it. The watchtower is just there though. They should open up loads of the map. Obviously, the main focus is is getting deliveries done, but also love the fact that it's, it's, it's a pretty serious off-roading game. Serious off-roading. 
It's fun though, it is a challenge, of course. But it's a fun and it's realistic. I've played other games where like the car, the, the, the vehicles can't go up very simple slopes because it's a tiny bit muddy. I'm like, come on. This, that's so annoying. This game you can sort of keep going. Of course you can get stuck. Of course we got winches as well. There is, ooh. What is that? Might be a place to go and get some jobs maybe. Potentially some more tariffs. Oh, bumpy. Actually taken no damage yet, which is uh, surprising. Oh, this we this water looks very deep. Uh, let's give it a go. Should be okay. We've got a snorkel. <sighs> that is probably the deepest I think we've been so far. <laughs> oh, that did not feel good. That did not feel good. And we have arrived. Woo! A few things discovered there. I saw that pinged up. <clears throat> okay, so I was going to move the trailer from here to here. Uh, but it does seem to be a massive rock slide here that needs to be moved. And I think that needs the, the service trailer. So, yeah, we're not quite ready for that yet. I think that's what we need to do. Rock slide activated. So I'm pretty sure you need ser the service trailer to be moved all the way over to here. Which is definitely doable, but yeah. It's clearly just blocked the path. And that trailer is going to be very hard to get home. It's actually really cool how the world seems to constantly sort of develop as you travel on it. Uh, it's amazing when you go back on the same piece of road or mud and how much harder it is because you're sort of being through it already. It makes it, obviously, there's less grip there because you sort of squished into the into the water. It just makes it more difficult. The world is constantly evolving to what you're doing, if that makes sense. So we need to turn left here. Yeah, turn left. So let's make sure I go the right way. The right way this time. It's a very, very cool game. I know some people are a little bit angry that... Oh, we have an FPS drop there. I'm really angry that it's on the Epic Game Store. Honestly, like, just just download the app. It doesn't it doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't. At least you have to buy, like, a new console or something like that. It's just, like, get the Epic Game Store, get the game. Like, don't be an idiot. <laughs> Honestly, I've had, I've had no issues. I've had so many free games as well with the Epic Game Store. Like, they just, like, they give out games every, like, week, basically. Like... They are really helping our game developers. There's a reason why game developers are putting their game, their games onto that store. It's because they, they give them more money. Like Steam just takes so much. I think it's like 40% of the sales goes to Steam. Like Steam doesn't really do much. So you just host where the game, the game is basically. I think the Epic Games Store takes like maybe 10% or 15%, which seems a lot more fair to me. And believe me, I'm, I'm in a position where YouTube takes. Like 45% of my money, and it hurts. Like you don't, you don't want it. You don't want it, believe me. And game game development is not cheap. It really isn't. It really is not. I thought that was deep. That was suddenly went just, it just. I just saw my wheels just disappear. Come on. I want this Scout 800. Give it to me. How's fuel? We've got plenty left. Plenty. Right, how far? Yeah, just keep going along this route. And it should be part to a house. So basically, I'm just going to nick the vehicle. Grand Theft Auto. Why not? I now claim this vehicle for Michigan. It is needed. In my mission to deliver and scout. It should be here, he says. Ooh, there it is. It's basically a Land Rover, right? Yeah. Oh, that is sweet. It's discovered, and also we can purchase it now as well. Yep. 
We can actually jump into it. There we go. How cute does that look? It is a little bit stuck already. Woo! Oh, this is so cute. That is so cute. I don't know if it's going to be as good as the Khan, but still. It's for free. I'm not going to complain. Yeah! Right, what we're going to do is take this vehicle home. Recover it. Done. There it is. In our garage. Yes! So we do have a new engine. Uh, we picked up a new suspension as well. I'm guessing a lot of these will be locked. But yeah, it's a pretty good little scav vehicle. It's not quite as good as the Khan, and I probably will use the Khan probably more. But saying that, there's a bunch of tires we can get for it, which is pretty cool. Winch's spare wheel, which actually goes in the back, in the trunk. How <laughs> cool is that? Roof rack, snorkels. Apparently it's locked still. Don't know why. Bit annoying. Look how deep that can go. That is high, above the vehicle. Very cool. Uh, what else we got? I mean, some of the additions are so tempting. I mean, the external horns look a bit, a bit questionable, but stuff like the, the pipes at the side, oh, perfect. Perfect. Kanye got stuck. I'm guessing the Scout can actually take trailers then. Interesting. I didn't know that. I guess that's maybe a benefit. I'm pretty sure it can take trailers, unlike the the Khan. I don't think that can. Yeah, we're going to spend a little bit of money on this. <laughs> I can't resist. So that's the stock. It's not a dramatic difference, is it? So I might leave that for now. I've got a couple of rims. That is definitely a better rim. All colour. Again, we keep going for red. Do I want to stick with red or do I want to change it a bit? I quite like red. Yeah, represent. There it is, the little Scout 800. What a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. Right, so I want to take it back. The GMC does not have all-wheel drive. I was a, a bit confused there. I, I apologize. But it does have diff lock, eventually. If you find it in the open world, you can find it. Uh, suspension, you can raise it. So that will help out a little bit, going off-road. But ideally, you want all-wheel drive. You're going to struggle. You're really going to struggle. Badly. Do I want that? I mean, am I going to use the truck at all? I don't know. I don't know. If I, if I want to go off road at all, it's really going to struggle. Badly. Very, very badly. So, do I have potentially go for a flatbed? Do I invest in a flatbed? Hmm. I think I need to. I don't think I really have an option, to be honest. I think I need to do it. Oh, that's a lot of money. 4,200 is a lot, but it needed to be done. It needed to be done. What could I, what could I do? It's got all-wheel drive, diff lock. It's got the fuel. It's got the power. It had to be done. Oh, we should actually put a snorkel on it as well then. So it doesn't drown the engine. Right. So remember that, that upgrade we found? The engine upgrade? It's actually for the original truck. The original CK1500. Now has a 5.2 custom. So it goes all the way from a C plus to an A. That is quite the jump. Also, we can upgrade the tires. <laughs> what? That is so tempting. Right, so there's actually one more thing I want to do in this episode. And there's actually an upgrade just here. How are we going to get to it? I don't know. But I want to get to it. <laughs> so I'm going to do whatever I can possible to do it um i think we can probably get across that water there i reckon but yeah, i want to get that upgrade again this is a, a piece of the road we've not entered yet and it does seem to be quite muddy it's late at night headlights are on let's see if we can get there i've filled up i've gone back to the garage and we're ready to go my last final mission to get the upgrade can i do it and in the next episode, we might work on maybe doing some fixes. There's power lines that are down, uh, rocks in the road, stuff like that. We need to uh, help out Michigan as much as possible. And hopefully we can level up again. Also, there's an engine upgrade we can do to this. 
it's currently a B plus. One engine upgrade can go all the way to an S. So I'm tempted by that. That's about 1,900. So that's a definitely a, a good a good upgrade to do. But I think it might make it a bit more heavier. But yeah, all this fuel here. Well, that's a good find. Interesting. Did not know that. Very interesting. So you got the farm, the garage. Oh, is that another drowned vehicle? Ah, we're not here, but you have to deliver the, the um, missing oil tank. Ooh. Where's that then? Let's try and find it. I don't know. I don't, I don't currently know where it is. It's still missing. So we need to try and find it. I guess maybe if we go to this watchtower, it might show us where it is. Intriguing. At least we fueled up though. Be prepared for the unexpected. Well, that's not scary as hell. Why, why would you say that? What's going to happen? <laughs> I don't want to know. Right, let's upgrade though. We're getting closer. As long as we move in the right direction, I'm fine with that. What does that sign say? Oh, not that one. <laughs> Uh, Mev Sleddy knocked it. What does it say? What does it say? Factory and gas. So there's a factory down here. But that's where the upgrade is. So how do we get there? Hmm. This will be interesting. Obviously, I want to go the most direct route possible. There's a lot of trees in the way. Also, like how not every tree in the game just does not move. That happens so much in video games. It's like really annoying, actually. Obviously, weaker trees you can sort of hit, and they will fall down. It won't even damage your vehicle, which is actually realistic. See, that one is that's solid. <laughs> that ain't gonna move. Try and get through. Ah, my tires are too fat. There we go. I have a feeling we're going to need the snorkel in about two seconds. Coming through. There's the upgrade. Perfect. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Snowrunner. Available for your current truck. What? A gearbox customization for better off road performance. Ah. Interesting. It's actually available for this truck we currently have. Very cool. Thank you for that. Do I make a little last ditch effort to get to this watchtower? Mm, I should probably be going off now, but I'm so tempted. Uh, it's going to be hard to get out of these trees, though. That road's blocked. It's not going to be easy. Mm, I don't know. Is this really possible? I mean, anything's possible. I feel like I'm sort of slightly destroying nature right now. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. She never let me outside. Ugh. Where we're going right now, I do not know. Just trying to head straight for the watchtower, which is probably the worst idea possible. Yes, I found a little trail. Yes. Perfect. Where this leads us, I don't know. Again, that's a, there's a roadblock right there. So we are not home and dry, my friends. I'll tell you that right now. No, no, no. Definitely not. At least we can get up onto the main road. Hopefully point the car in the right direction. Come on! So keep going. It's a, it is deep here. It is wet. It's soggy. We're getting stuck. It's been a productive episode, though. We've got a lot of stuff done. It's been good. It's been good fun. Not having to worry about deliveries, falling over or breaking. Just, just driving. Getting from A to B. Surviving. Yeah, that is... Uh, Definitely blocked. Lovely. Fantastic. 
That is 100% blocked. <laughs> I am not getting there. Uh, do, 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 do. The only way I can work out is maybe go along this trail here and try and skip past the roadblock. So, down this way. This game does not like to make things easy. I'll tell you that right now. It's always going to put something in your path. Always. And then go, yeah, up here. Basically trying to skip the roadblock. Watchtower, I am coming! I know that sounds really rude, but it's true. I'm coming for you. I will get to you eventually. And again, this is not a part of the map we've ever been to. So, it should open up some interesting potential targets and tasks. I will definitely want to do, no doubt about that. So again, turn left up here, we're close now. We're very, very close. I can smell it. I can smell those radio signals. Let's do it. Final leg of our journey to this watchtower. He's, he is frantic with that wheel. Have I gone off the beaten path? No, we're, we're good, we're good. I think I see it. I think I see it. Oh. That is a drop. Okay. Please don't fail now. Please don't. Break. 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 We did it. Wooden bridge discovered. Oh. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Great. A wooden bridge. Let me guess. The wooden bridge isn't... For one set. Upgrade discovered. Ooh. Hello. What is that? See, this game is like, you find something and you're like, I need to get to that now. <laughs> and that is exactly what is happening right now. So I don't think that... I don't think that's like a stuck vehicle. Well, I guess it is. As it's, I'm guessing it's damaged. But maybe we can try and retrieve it. And it could be ours. Ooh hoo hoo. I'm excited for that. Thank you guys for watching though. The Chevy C70, I want that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like on the video and bye-byes.